Hi, thanks for checking out this channel. Um, this is going to be a uh, kind of an overview review of this uh, particular unit. It's the Gallagher Solar S100. It's a uh, one uh, stored jewel unit. It's got a, um, we've been a repair place for decades, about 17 years now, 18 years working on electric fence boxes for different brands and people, but um, in the last two or three months we've this, uh, we're in March, in, almost towards the middle end of March now. But back in like January or December, uh, we looked into becoming a dealer uh, for a brand. And we, I, my wife was like, you know, you get so many calls from people about what would you buy since you're a repair guy. What would you buy if you're going to buy a new one, or what would you recommend? So I was like, well, you know, I never really thought about being a dealer for a brand but you know we get so many calls and why you know some people ask well do you sell those things I'm like no i don't but here's some places you can go buy them from and you'll look online or whatever or buy them from your local store if you want so we decided like well of all the brands that we work on we don't hardly ever see the gallagher stuff come in that's new it's usually got 10 15 20 30 years of age on it uh and every, all the stores that we talk to that we do some repairs for that sell Gallagher love them so I was like well you know the store likes them they're selling them all the time and we don't see them that come in that often when they're uh, unless they get old or lightning damage maybe I said why don't we look at Gallagher so I, I always push the Gallagher stuff I like their quality they aren't cheap by any means but they are quality you're not paying for just a name you're paying for the quality of their unit and everything so we um, jumped on board or talked to Gallagher first and they uh, we went back and forth the paperwork stuff and finally got squared away to where we can sell their product now so if you want a gallagher unit give me a call and i'll or send me an email or send me a text or something and i'll see if i can get you a, a price on one um so this is a gallagher s100 that we uh, got a guy we're just gonna box up and ship it here in, in a little bit but um i've of all the Gallagher stuff we've worked on, I've never had one of these come in for repair. I've, I've seen them on the shelves, local store. Uh, you know, I know people that sell them and use them, but I've never had one come in for repair. So this was kind of nice to actually see one, you know, right up in front and in front of your face. But um, it's pretty slick little unit. Uh, they, all their solar ones have uh, the S40 and larger have these two modes. They've got our uh, livestock mode. And wildlife mode and also on this one you can turn the switch to the left and go to this setting here and this is your um, battery check it has a built-in uh, 12 volt battery in this unit um, you turn it to the left this lights up green battery is good lights up red uh, battery needs to be charged up a little bit and how you charge these things typically just leave it turned off let it sit in the Sun for a couple of days and then you're ready to go again um, these have um just from a repair guy standpoint inside these units the board sits up inside here and this little uh, lens right here is a sensor and it picks up the amount of light from the sun that's coming into it and it talks to the board and that board will actually manipulate uh, based with the software and all the smarts this thing's got in it it will manipulate the board to help um, the output for the unit for the and to conserve the battery and everything so if you get a pretty cloudy day um, it will manipulate the unit to um, to save on the battery so it's not going to run the battery flat so it conserves the battery and I think these things if I I'm not gonna because if I I'm not gonna cut this thing open because once I cut it open and you can't seal it back shut uh, on these plastic shells so I believe it will run up to like six weeks or probably between four to six weeks on a fully charged battery uh, based on this and based on what you use it here for and because they they because it manipulates the battery manipulates the output and the pulse rate and everything to save on to conserve battery and help the battery live as long of a life as it can um, now these two modes the wildlife or the wildlife mode and livestock mode these are depends on what kind of animals you're dealing with and and are you worried about um, predator control or deer coming to your garden at night stuff like that if you have that kind of problem you want to put on wildlife mode which means it, it pulses the same power and everything day or night so um, this is livestock so if you just worry about keeping your horses in or keeping your cows in you're not worried about predator problems or anything you can put it on here and at night will actually slow the pulse down uh, where it's not um, 
pulse them as fast and as often because you're not really worried about the animals getting out at night because most time the horses and cows and sheep and they go to bed at night so you put it to here and it just uh, just helps you out without have to run the thing full bore all the time you know so if you're if you, but if you're worried about hogs or you know other animals getting in when you don't want them to at night put it to here and then that will um, have the same kind of power during the day as it does at night so it's pretty slick the other thing I like about it then all the Gallagher solar ones do this now on the mounting for it it can mount two different ways but the main way people use it is on the bottom here this is where you can slide onto a t-post and there's all these little teeth inside here it's got a 360 degree mount to go onto a t-post so it doesn't matter which way the t-post is faced it can go on there any way you want it to um, they're older ones and almost every other brand out there they have a like a one-way or two-way slot in here so that so if you put the t-post in one way you go to mount the unit it's facing east and you need it to face south and like god dang it you gotta pull the unit off yank the t-post out turn it put drive it back down the ground and then mount this back on there the way you want it if you forget to pre-mount the thing on there to make sure your um t-post facing the right direction this one all the gallagher ones it doesn't matter which way the t-post is facing you can mount on there any way you want so which is kind of nice because sometimes in the spring the sun's coming out this way and then by the time midsummer, late summer it comes on, now it's coming off a little bit uh, different direction a little bit. So you might have to lift the unit up, turn it 20, 30 degrees, put it right back down the same post without um, taking the T-post out and turning it. You can just lift this up off the T-post, turn it a little bit, lay it back down, and keep going. Uh, I think these do, uh, they also do come with um, um, fence and ground leads. I think inside the battery box here, when you cut it open and get this thing out, there's a little screw there. You can think, I don't know if you can do it by hand or not. You might be able to do it by hand. If not, you just need a Phillips screwdriver or a flat screwdriver. Take the, the screw out the back, loosen it up the bottom, this whole back orange piece. Well, I'll say there it is. One's up to three weeks without sun. So there you go. So this will um, um, pull open. Uh, the batteries will be disconnected on the inside. So you, have to re you have to connect the batteries up when you first get it. And typically, they would recommend to let it sit in the sun for about three, four days just to make sure it has been sitting on the shelf for a year or two because you never know how long the battery's been sitting before it needs to be uh, charged up. So it's always good to let it sit for two, three, four days in the sun, turned off, battery connected. And then um, then after that, just hook it to the fence and ground. But then the fence and ground knobs are on the back right here, the reds fence greens ground the other thing's kind of nice is it's labeled on here lightning bolt and the ground symbol but if you look real close if i can see it there it is and if you drop the knobs in the ground you're like oh god dang which which one's fence which one's ground if you look at the case it's actually engraved in the case like there's a little ground symbol engraved there lightning bolts engraved there so you know red you know the the lightning bolts match it so that's your fence and greens your ground But um, yeah, I talked a little bit, bit about it, how to mount it on there. But you can see 360 degree mounting for existing steel T post. Um, this this unit will do has some of the specs on here for the S100. And Gallagher gives you both ratings. They give you um, mileage and acreage for both clean fence and typical fence. Clean fence is single wire, perfect ground, high tensile wire. So that's what most brands will, will rate their units based off that. So off that kind of rating, it will do 30 miles or 100 acres on multiple fence wires. If you have like four, five, six lines, whatever, and you got some grass on it here and there, they give you that rating as well. That will do eight miles or 60 acres if you have multiple lines. And if you got some grass screwing up on the wire, you know, that kind of cuts down on the rating. So don't always trust when you look at a brand. Don't always trust those mileage and acreage ratings because that's usually a single strand of perfectly clean fence, high tensile wire, good ground system, all the perfect things. Gallagher tells you both. And most times, who, how many people you know that has a perfectly clean fence or a perfectly built fence? It's very rare. And some people actually have three, four, or five, six lines of wire on there. So that's what's kind of nice to, to, to look and I kind of show you that on this thing here but uh, yeah do 60 acres 
or eight miles of multiple multi multi wire lines. So um, that's how you can kind of judge what you need to get based on those type of things. So, but yeah, these I don't. I never had to work on one. I'm sure they've gone bad here and there, but I never had one come in. Um, but we are set up as a warranty place for Gallagher. So even if you bought one from somebody else, if you want if something happens to it, which is, I think, pretty rare on these things, it seems to be pretty bulletproof or at least well built. Um, you can send one to us for repair. Um, we, you know, so we are warranty authorized to work on warranty Gallagher stuff, which doesn't happen that often. And um, we can do non-warranty stuff as well. But we work in all brands of the electric fence boxes. We're not going to try to talk you into buying one. If you send one to us, we're not going to say, oh, it's going to cost you 250 bucks to fix it. You can buy a new one for $300. We're not going to do you like that. If it costs 60 bucks to fix it, it's going to be 60 bucks to fix it. And we'll send it back out the door, and then you can keep on using your old one. We're not going to try to talk you into buying a new one. We're not trying to sell you nothing. We're just here to fix things. But if you're interested in something new, call me up or email me or shoot me a text and i'll see what i can get you so and we'll stand behind it just like the company does so but that's it for us so if you know anybody needs any help with something like this uh give them get more information share this video to to them and we'll help you guys out and until next time see you later